Hi friends, it's author Ashley Ryan. Today I'm going to be talking about joining the Goodreads Challenge. It's the first time I've ever done this. I'm trying to reach 100 books in 2021. So that's something I'm going to be working on. And so I thought I would share my journey with you. And then if you want to comment about what you're reading on Goodreads also, or you can join me on Goodreads. I have a blog over there. Um, you can follow me on Goodreads to see what, what I'm reading and I can follow you back to see what you're reading also. So first, I'm reading on my Kindle, Fire 10, I'm reading Riot House by Callie Hart. I really like this so far. I'm about a half of a way through with it. Um, the first, the cover is just what drew my attention immediately. I love the bully romance genre and I love writing in the bully romance genre. So of course I love reading it also. Um, when I saw the cover, I just thought that it was just, he's so hot. <laughs> he's so hot. And so I thought that it would be interesting. The covers are so important. I thought it would be interesting to read. I've heard of Callie Hart. Um, I know she has a lot of stuff out and she's one of the more popular bully romance um, authors. So I thought that I would try it out and see. And it definitely does not disappoint. Um, I think she does a really good job of using um, you know, curiosity in the parts where it talks about in the dark and it only gives you a few little snippets of what's going on and you just wonder, you know, what is this leading up to or where is this going? You know, I'm really curious to see where that is. From what I understand, the, this is the first book in a series. So you may not get the answers in this book or um, in the next couple books. So I'll just have to follow it and see about how it goes. I do like, um, I like Elodie and I like Ren together. I think they're really, they're really cute and I really like the um, dynamic that she paints between them. I think that um, it makes it very interesting. She does a really good job of the enemies to lovers um, trope. So I'm really enjoying reading, reading her writing. So I have a bad habit of, I'll start reading something and then like I pause and I'll read something else. <laughs> because it just kind of depends on what, what kind of mood I'm in, what I want to read. So for fun, I'm reading this. And then I decided I got off eBay, Stephen King's book on writing. I love Stephen King. <laughs> First off, I love him. And I'm not a real big fan of the horror genre. I don't like scary movies. I don't like scary books. Um, I know that sounds really a paradox because I like Stephen King so much, but I'm more, um, I admire his success. I admire that, you know, he's one man and he has single-handedly changed our culture, um, the way horror is done. I mean, when you automatically hear his name, you automatically think scary, you know, um, and they're redoing his movies. It's just, he is just such an iconic author. And I love that he took the time to write a book about writing, like what it is about that he enjoys writing and not only that his advice maybe the things he's learned over the years i mean how excellent is that to learn from a master like stephen king so i started reading this for like research purposes and i'm about maybe a third of the way through and i think <laughs> i guess i just didn't realize what a crappy childhood he had and which really probably plays a huge role in the things that he writes it's really interesting, you know, the way that we're raised and how it influences um, our thoughts and the things that we can create even. So um, this is another book that I'm working on reading. Hopefully I can join that to my list of my 100 books for this year and uh, get this one finished. I'm definitely working on it. I've also decided since I remember reading a lot of classic literature in high school, of course, and college, but I've decided I kind of would like to go back and revisit that. You know, I'm reading, um, like, you know, The Riot House for fun, The On Writing by Stephen King. I'm reading this more for research and kind of to pick his brain to kind of understand how he became who he was and how so successful he is. And then also, I start, I've decided I've started to want to read the classics because I like the foundation of literature. I just love to read. I mean, I'm pretty much anybody who's a reader would read anything, you know, the back of a cereal box or um, an air freshener can, just anything just to read. You just enjoy reading. And as a writer, I love to read. I love it. And so I think it's important to fuel that um, growth within yourself to be able to produce is that you also have to take care of yourself. And one of the ways 
and do things you enjoy. And one of the ways I do that is by reading. So I, like I said, I've decided to start reading some of the classics. One of my favorite movies of all time is Pride and Prejudice. So I decided that I would read Pride and Prejudice. And of course, I love Kindle Unlimited because you can read all kinds of stuff, you know, for the monthly fee that you have. But this book is not in Kindle Unlimited. It's actually, you buy it for 99 cents. You can see. This is the version that I picked because I don't know if you can see down into the, um, down into the description, it has a free link to an audiobook. So you, you buy the book and then you get a link that reads the audiobook and it says for free. And so this is the version that I'm going to be reading. I'm going to also update my list on Goodreads, reading Pride and Prejudice. Um, I love, it's my, one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite movies. I don't know how you could not love <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. But it would be interesting to read it from Jane Austen herself. So that would be really, be really fun to do that also. I hope you'll join me with doing the Goodreads challenge. Or at least let me know how you're doing or, or your update your status on Goodreads. Um, I think it's exciting. And plus it's kind of, it, it forces you to take time out of the day just to relax. You know, to, to have a goal to meet at the end of the year. I'm very competitive. I love you know, setting goals, reaching goals, and I think to, uh, for good reason to, to, to host this challenge, it's, it's fun, and I always see people do it, I've never done it, so now that I'm going to try, 100 books seems like a lot, honestly, in, in a year, in the midst of writing and everything else, but um, we're going to see if we can get it done, that's for sure, but I wanted to show you also my shirt, <laughs> this came out of my Cafe Press shop, and it says Warwick Harris, pardon me while I draw, <laughs> It's based on my book, um, on the book Bully Bait, the whole series in Centennial High, and of course the Wolfpack series, which I'm still working on. And I love War. War is my favorite character, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, I'll put a link to my cafe press shop down there. I'm also, when I'm going to be doing a giveaway here soon, um, from uh, items from my cafe press shop. So I'll, I'll do another video to post about the items and, um, and how you can enter the giveaway. But um, I hope you all enjoy reading, and I'll talk to you very soon.